dropping it to the side forces you to do a little bit more So today I'm starting off with some sprints. I've brought my 35 pound kettlebell and uh, my 25 pound kettlebell and my 15 pound steel mace. So since I haven't done any running this week yet, well it is only the beginning of the week, but uh, it feels like I haven't done sprints, I guess sprints or any form of running in a while. So I've decided to start my workout, workout off with some uh, sprints. Uh, so going to walk backwards one way and then going to sprint back the other way. That was the sixth set of sprints. I'm gonna go for 10 total. So for the next set of movements, I'm gonna do steel mace 360s, uh, 10 each side, and then do uh, five to six toes to bar. Thinking about throwing in some uh, body weight ab exercises during my workout today so yeah <clears throat> I need to be mindful of my steel mace volume though. I've been doing three straight days of it and the last time I got injured was when I went overboard with the steel mace volume. Switching sides. It's such a rhythmic movement to perform when it feels right. Then moving to some toes to bar, just doing five reps. I'm gonna do this for five sets, then on to something else. So for the next exercise, I'm going to do sled resisted lunge walks. So I'm going to move, um, okay, how do I explain this? So I'm going to move ahead to the point where there's tension on it and then I'm going to lunge as I move forward. Uh, the angle at which I have to press forward because I have to drag the weight with me is a little up and ahead which targets the glutes a little bit more effectively. Um, if you're trying to do it with a sled in a gym you might 
have to make sure the sled is light enough without weights. Uh, what I've noticed is, at least when I try to do this at the gym, uh, at the sled at the gym, the one time I did, maybe I didn't try hard enough uh, or whatever, but it was super awkward. But it's probably possible and I just had, didn't try properly. But yeah, uh, if you have a light kettlebell or something, then you can definitely do it. So moving ahead and lunge. Super setting that with steel 360s. Then going to go into a shoulder press. Then switch sides and repeat the same. For five each side. So yeah, with the sled and this, especially after the sprints in the beginning, it's pretty taxing. I'm 81 minutes into the workout, I've burned 600-ish calories, gonna do five sets of this, that was my third one, uh, and then on to something else. So for the next set of exercises, gonna do steel my 360s to a drop squat but uh, I'm gonna drop the steel mace on the side not in the middle and then switch sides looks like this <sighs> Dropping it to the side forces you to do a little bit more of a twist 
involving the obliques and the full body rotatory muscles a lot more And then supersetting that with alternate uh, kettlebell swing squats to figure eight. Looks like this. Swing, squat, figure eight. Swing, squat, figure eight. Swing, squat, figure eight. Swing, squat. Oh, yeah, gonna do these two for a bit, then not sure what'll be next. The sprints really kicked my butt. I feel exhausted. In any case, on we go. So, doing this kettlebell ab movement where oh i'm gonna start with the kettlebell and my i guess legs crunched they both start out then alternate legs I raise my both legs that <laughs> oh. Oh. that's a brutal ab exercise or maybe my abs are just tired but yeah I, I think I'm just gonna run through all the exercises that I'm gonna do instead of recording them separately so that's one of them. The other ab exercise that I'm going to do is oh. So I'm going to hold the kettlebell straight up, both legs bent and alternate. Gonna switch hands at eight. Oh, there's all these insects. Oh, God damn it.
Oh, I'm gonna do these two for a bit. And I think that's probably going to be it for today's video. Uh, yeah, I don't really think I'm gonna juggle, juggle today. Um, yeah. Yeah, so this will be it for today's video. See you all tomorrow.